these are the only two drugs FDA approved to treat all subtypes of the myeloid cancer, myelodysplastic syndrome, and they're also very important drugs in the treatment of acute myeloid leukemia. Unfortunately, everybody treated with these drugs, uh, the disease eventually relapsed. So obviously a critical question is, what is the mechanism of resistance? So, uh, uh, so the good news is we actually know what these drugs, how these drugs work. They deplete a protein from the, the malignant cells or the cancer cells called DNMT1 or DNA methyltransferase 1. So an obvious question is, um, when, when the disease relapsed, when the cancer is recurring, has DNMT1 actually been depleted? So have the drugs actually done what they were supposed to do? Or is it that uh, the, the DNMT1 was depleted and the cancer cells don't care? So the drugs got in there, did their thing, but the cancer cells said, yeah, so what? And they just kept on going. Or is it that the drugs didn't get in there and do what they were supposed to do in the first place? So the cancer cells keep on growing because the drug actually hasn't done what it was supposed to do. So that's where we started. And to cut a long story short, it turns out that resistance or relapse is by cancer cells that avoid the drug altogether. So the drug hasn't gone in there and, and depleted the NMT1. So they're not, they're not growing because DNMT1 has been depleted, they're growing because DNMT1 has not been depleted.